Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday, it's the 21st of March, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates. The map Mecklenburg Lake District by Holden has been updated, that does need a new save game. The map American Farmlands by TK Farms also needs a new save game. The map Ostseekuster by uh, Ostseekuster 22 by Take It LS doesn't need a new save game. The John Deere CS770 and SH8R and SH12F by Angro Tonio has had an update. The Fent Favorite 500C pack by Cayman. The Lizard P93S pack by Blend Arts, Kolchosnik Jr., TT, Check Modding and Agro Sketch. The Sulky X50 Ikonov by Nico Pixies. The Lizard Roller by Doxo Matixo. The Agri Manutention Tool Pack by Fred Modding, the Telehandler Pallet uh, Fork by Mac Trucker 921, Liftable Bales Pack by Yoss, the American Pack by Lancy Boy, the Liquid Fertilizer Tank by 750Ti Modding, and the Fire Siren by MTL Modding Team have all had updates. So, we have got the Small Shed. This is by uh, Perselix. 2.92 megabytes download, three slots on console, 4,000 to buy. You'll find it in the build mode and sheds. There are no lights or anything on it. It's just just a small shed. Nice and straightforward to get it started off. That's by Perselix. Uh, next, we've got these. This is the Wash Halls Pack by Eddie and Mueva, I think it is. It is 15.68 megabytes download, 30 slots each on console, 60,000 for the older sort of, I say, grubbier version. Um, and then it is 75,000 for the the cleaner version, shall we say. Uh, build mode and tools, I think this is where they were. There we go. So wash all classic and wash all sanitized. 60 grand, 75 grand. Slot counts drop down to two on both of them. Open the doors. We have got a light switch at this end. Like so. They're nicely detailed in here actually as well. There's a lot going on. And then we've got a high pressure jet wash just inside there. And then the sanitized version is just a slightly cleaned up version of. Again, light switch at this end. Jet wash. Build mode and tools. The wash hauls pack by Eddie and Muev. Muev. Uh, next, we have got this. This is the Flavoured Milk Bottle Factory by Fracasse Modding. It is 4.68 megabytes download, 13 slots and 70,000 for the production facility, the building itself. And then we've got a sell point that comes with this, which is 12 slots and 15,000 to buy. This does basically milkshakes, for all intents and purposes. Uh, we have got, around here, chocolate milk. We've got oat milk. We've got uh, strawberry milk and we've got soy milk. This is what the pallets look like when they're produced. The building itself takes 100,000 litres of each product. So milk, sugar, oats, soybean, chocolate and strawberries. The productions, uh, because they're each recipe is, a, is one of each, which gives you one bottle out. Although the cycles per month are quite high, it still takes a little while. I mean, not horrendously, but you know, you'll get a few pallets over the course of a day, so not not too horrendous. So the oat milk requires uh, milk, sugar, and oats. The soy milk, milk, sugar, and um, soybean. Milk, sugar, and chocolate, and then milk, sugar, and strawberry. We can sell it to storing, selling, or distributing. Um, and it depends on where you can distribute it to. If there are any of the storage points of things that will take these. Um, then that's fine. If not, you're probably going to want it on storing or selling. That would make more sense. Putting in is done just here. As you can see, the pallet spawned just out there. And the build mode and production is where you find the building. Just there. Slot cam will come down to one. Then under sell points is where you find the sell point. Slot cam will also come down to one. Like I said, 15 grand. And that's this one here. There's nothing on the actual building itself, but the sell point is around the back. So we can sell our products. Nice and clearly marked. Like that. Very nice indeed. 
That's the flavoured milk bottle factory by Fracasse Modding. Next, we've got the clothing factory. This takes um, cotton and it takes your wool and it bypasses the tailor step. So normally you take your cotton and your wool to the spinnery, spinnery turns it to fabric, fabric goes to the tailors, tailor makes the clothes. This clothing factory cuts out the tailor bit in the middle, so it just takes the cotton and it takes the wool, turns it into clothes. You don't need a fabric bit in the middle, which I suppose makes life a little bit easier. Um, 2.74 megabytes download, 23 slots on console, 90,000 to bytes by Grimlock RC, under build mode and production just knows the clothing factory and the slot count will come down to one. Putting in, it's done around the back. Now I did fill up with wool, it took 100,000 litres. I'm assuming it's going to do 100,000 litres of cotton as well. Pallets will spawn here. We're going to our managed facility. So, so wool and cotton comes in. Clothes come out, cuts out the middleman. Uh, cycles per month, we've got a 4 to 1 for the wool and a 10 to 3 for the uh, the cotton. And then the cycles per month, 2,880 for wool, 1,152 for the cotton. Not far off a full pallet already, and it hasn't been running that long, so it will run faster than a standard um, tailor's. There's no sell point added with this one, because as a lot of sell points takes clothes, it's not something um, bespoke. But, yeah. Lovely. Clothing Factory by Grimlock RRC. Next we've got this. This is the modern pigsty. This is by 750Ti Modding. 12.4 megabytes download. 42 slots on console. 50,000 to buy. 150 um, pigs. And they said cows then. 150 pigs. Open and close of the feed point is done here so your pig food or if you're doing the separate crop types to make your pig food that's fine you can do that here the slurry point is there if you want manure you need to place a separate manure point dialog box is just here but we can open this door as well we have light switch on the outside and then we have a light switch right the way down the end here it's actually nice and bright in here Each pig, I say each pig, once you've got 150 here, it won't be each pig will have its own um, pen, but yeah, fairly straightforward on that one as well. If we go into there and look at our animals, they're producing slurry already. Oh, it didn't say straw. Uh, if we open the door just here, feed goes in there, the trigger for straw is literally just inside the door. Um, you're going to need a slightly smaller trailer. The larger trailers won't access the trigger if they're too big to fit through that doorway. So there needs to be something that will fit in there. And the trigger was literally just inside the door for putting bedding in. Under build mode, animals, under pigs. The slot count on this one will come down to two for any secondary or subsequent building you might want to place. That's the modern pig style by 750Ti Modding. Next... We've got this, and this is part of these. This is the Lizard Mega Roll 2430 Multi Roller by Mac Trucker 921. 11.36 megabytes download, 16 slots for the first one on console. We had the smaller version of this recently um, and was absolutely brilliant. And I'm really pleased we got the bigger version because if you're rolling your fields, either if you want to do it before you seed and then do your seeding to get yourself a sort of a more immersive, get yourself a seed bed, you can. When you roll after seeding, you get a 5% yield bonus. But often rolling can take quite a while and the bigger ones are quite slow and cumbersome to turn. This one runs at 15 miles an hour. So it's faster anyway over the ground and it's big. But it's a multi-roller because we can use it as a field roller, and I'll show you in a second, just for rolling the fields after you've seeded or before for your seed bed. We can use it as a mulcher, and I've got one over there in its mulching configuration, just over there. And we can also use it as a grass roller. So when you've cut your grass... I showed it with the small one as well. When you've cut your grass and you've taken your bales off or you've picked up your grass with a forage wagon or whatever, you can use it to get a fertilising state, so it's literally just a roller. But I'll show you anyway. If we go down to our tools and to our rollers, which is just there. So, yeah, we had this, the version of this for the power roll. This is the mega roll. Same price. 
Um, standard one runs at seven miles an hour. This one, like I said, runs at 15, makes a massive difference. So field roller is your regular roller, what you would normally use. Grass roller, with the smooth rollers, when you've cut your grass, that will give you a fertilizing state on your field. And then the mulching roller is a mulcher. We've got wheel brand, uh, Michelin, BKT, Ranger Stein. No tire choices within those. Main color, anything on this palette here. Rim color, anything on this palette here. And license plate option on there too. So I'm not going to show you the grass roller, but it is pretty cool. The unfold. And because it runs that much faster, if you're doing big field work, it's always that thing you think, oh, am I bothered about a 5% yield bonus? I'm, you know, it's going to take a while. But for this, why not? Drop it down and whoosh, off you go. How about that? Now the rollers usually uh, will push smaller stones back into the ground, so you can use them for that as well. If you've, if you've pulled up small stones, these are larger stones on here, so it won't work with that. So that's the roller. This one, already opened, I have in mulching configuration. So again, 15 miles an hour. If you want to get your mulch on. Love it. Absolutely love it. Not cumbersome anymore. Woo, okay. Probably don't want to turn as fast as that. <laughs> but there you go. That will make very light work of large fields. Well, and small fields. If you've got a small field, it'll make incredibly light work of it. So, that's the Lizard Mega Roll 2430 Multi Roller by Mac Trucker 921. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Lizard LS35. It's by Vanquish081, 8.69 megabytes download. This is an IT runner um, animal transport. It is 8.69, yeah, and two slots to download. Now, when I went to download this, it came up with a message saying required the Lizard AM21 ITR and the Multi Fruit Container and IT runner pack. And it installed both of those at the same time it installed this. So I wasn't sure whether this would work with just a standard IT runner vehicle or trailer. That is not one of those. This is just an IT runner lorry. And it works perfectly well with that. So it will auto download some extra mods that it will work with. But it will work with other IT runner bits. Will it work with every single IT runner trailer? I don't know. But it definitely works with this one. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. It should do. So you will find this. Under Animal Transport, just there, 28,500. It will do four cows, 13 pigs, 15 sheep, nine uh, horses. Mind blank there, but it will also do 184 chickens, which is very nice. Options on it. So you've got standard, so that's in standard configuration, it will do all the animal types. But then you can have the chicken version, which will do the 184 chickens. So if you want to do chickens, you want to have it on the chicken version. Main colour, anything on that palette. Fairly straightforward. Now, as I was saying, if we come out of there and go up to... What was it under? I think it was under trailers. So that's what it downloaded, that one there, the AM21 ITR. And it also downloaded this pack, the Multifruit Container... Um, what's that? What's Multifruit Container IT Runner Pack for that trailer as well? But it will work as I say, with one of these. So, we hook up to it. Load container. Take it to your animal dealer, livestock market, wherever you want to, to load it up. At the moment, I should have 184 chickens in there. You can just about see the chickens in the, in the containers. Just about. They're not making much of a fuss or a noise. And I should be able to back it straight in. There we go. And then transfer my chickens over. Oh, 
That's interesting. I thought I had 194 in there. Maybe not. Maybe I just did that move. That's how chickens moved over. Nice and easy. The Lizard LS 35 by Vanquish081. Next. We've got this. This is the uh, Big Body 750 Special Edition by Bandit36FR. 13.38 megabytes download to 12 slots on console. Problem is, I've just realised I set everything up normally because I do my, my mod, mod reviews in the morning of whatever map I'm on. Um, but I sped up time so I get the pallets to spawn for the milk bottles and now it's gone lunchtime and the sun's coming from this direction. So I'm looking at them from there and they look a little bit dark. Apologies for that. Um, but anyway. This is the trailer. We've had a few versions of this. This has got a couple of special editions. As you can see, there's a class version, there's a pink version, and then there's the standard one I think we're kind of, I say, used to having. So, this you'll find under trailers. So, just there 35,500 for the base model. We've got the Agri Technica special, the class special edition, both of those 37,500, 37,500 litres. Class Special Edition, smaller, 20,000 litres. And then we've got the Special Pink Edition. Then we're back to the Standard Cramp Kipper with extension, so you can have it 20,000 or 37,500. And then back to that again. Uh, we've got Wheel Brand. Actually, let's change it to one of those, the, the class one, for example. We've got Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT, Midas, Nokian, Fredestein. Back to Michelin. We have got... Another Trelleborg. BKT Midas, just that Nokian Fredestein Back to Michelin again Beacon Lights Now this changes, you get one beacon light on the back but it changes the configuration to number 1 2, 3, 4, I think it goes up to 11 There we go. Then we've got a speed sticker on the back, so the speed that it's supposed to travel at, depending on what vehicle you've got on, you can have that on various different speeds, up to 60 kilometers per hour or off, you don't have to have it on there. Toolbox, yes or no, under at the front. And then license pay option. Start that. So this is interesting in that when I connect up the support leg, the landing gear, doesn't automatically raise on this. So when you go to try and drive away, if you've got it all the way down, like that, as you can see it's lifted the wheels off the ground, I can't drive away. Well. Not particularly well. So you have to manually lift that landing gear up out of the way. Then we can drive off. Cover open and close. I, I wondered when I first got it, I went to drive off, I thought, that's weird, why is it not moving? And that's why. So we've got tip side left, grain door back, back, it's fairly standard, grain door is pretty self-explanatory, and then our tip side left, like so. If we disconnect as it is now, it will drop to the floor, like that. So you do still need to, well if you don't have to, it's in time to you. Um, Lower that landing gear before you disconnect. Off you go. So, that's the Big Body 750 Special Edition by Bandit 36FR. Next, we have got. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah, over there. We've got this. This is the Brewery Manure Director 14. This is by DMI Fent. Uh, 103S Luke 4.98 megabytes download 8 slots on console 12 meter widespread width and um, we have got a standard version of this in game this has got a few extra tyre choices and I think a couple, is it a couple of colour choices um, added in so yeah we have already got on 14,500 litre capacity nicely made it's been tweaked a little bit to give you a few more choices you will find it under manure spreaders so the standard brewery manure director 14 is there. Out on the end, slot count will come down to one. We've got the option of knocking, 
Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, back to Nokian. Under Nokian we've got Trelleborg. Hang on. There was narrows, there we go. Michelin. Continental. Midas. BKT. Fredestein. Back to Nokian. We've got no beacon lights. Hang on. No beacon light or with beacon light on the back. Main colour, black or darker green, if you wish. Rim colour, any one of those. And licensed burps on there too. We open it up, like so. Beacon on there, like I said, 14,500 litres. We can activate the double application rate if we want to. 12 meter spread. Activate double application and then go again. Slows it right down, but we are getting both fertilizing states in one go. There we go. That's the Brewery Manure Director 14 by DMI Fent 103S Luke. Uh, next, we've got this. Nice, quick, easy, simple. This is the Lizard BV1003. This is by Slashmon. 3.51 megabytes download, four slots on console. It's a barrel trailer. It's got straps. It's not an auto load. There aren't loads of configuration options for it. It's a barrel trailer. Under barrel loaders. 12,000 to buy. Slot count will come down to one. We've got the option of Trelleborg or BKT. BKT doesn't have an option. Trelleborg, standard or wide. Main colour, anything on that palette. Rim colour, anything on that palette. And licence plate option two. Tension straps can be done manually or from the in-cab of the vehicle. And that's it. I like it. The Lizard BV1003 by Slashmon next. We've got these. Now, I apologise if I say this wrong. Uh, this is the Shazgowski Strip Till Cedar 2022 by Seed Modding and JHHG Modding. 30.87 megabytes download, 17 slots, 17 slots, and 7 slots. 7 slots is for the rear section, which is your actual seeding unit. We've got two separate strip till pieces of machinery. Now, these can just have fertiliser in, and you can cultivate and fertilize at the same time or you can split the tank and have seed and fertilizer and then you can have your seeder on the back of it so you can strip till fertilize and seed all at the same time which makes them jolly handy we've got a three meter and a 4.5 one thing i have found and i don't know if it's just on the playstation controller or i haven't found an option for these wheels to come down i did have a look on the, the mod hub website um looking at the pictures that are put up and there wasn't a single picture that showed those wheels down so i don't know if they do come down at all or not now there were some updates i think was i away or was i ill i can't remember what it was now um some of these had an update to console but i, I didn't review them so anyway we're looking at it now this you'll find or these you'll find under cedars so as I said, 17 slots, 17 slots, and 7 slots. So the first one is the STK300 2022. So it's 3 metre wide, 2,400 litre tank. You can just have it fertiliser, so you can cultivate and fertilise at the same time, or split the tank, 1,200, 1,200, dry fertiliser and seed. We've got Wilbrand, Trelleborg, BKT, actually just those two. We've got lights, we've got a beacon light, back work LEDs, or both and then we've got different row units we can change this depending on what you want it to be like so at the moment it's on four row 30 inch spacing so again this is adding in that immersion thing if you want it with planting rows six row 18 inches eight rows at 15 inches or back again so that's the three meter wide version then we've got this one which is a little bit more expensive 
This one is a little bit wider, 4.5 metres wide. It's got slightly chunkier tyres in it. This has a 6 row 18 inch or an 8 row 15 inch. It doesn't have the 4 row. We have got Trelleborg and BKT on this one as well. Again, lights, we've got a beacon light, LEDs or both. And then the same thing, all dry fertiliser or a split between if you want to have the, the bit on the back for doing your seeding at the same time. And then the seed component of this, 13,155 on the back, 3 metres wide. So we've got ridge markers, yes or no. If you don't use them, use them. You don't have to have them. Tramline markers you can put in, so what you can do is raise and lower those, depending on what you're going to be doing. Again, if you want that immersion, if you're going to be running um, a fertiliser sprayer, spreader, something like that, and whatever the width of that is, every so many rows you can put that tramline thing down. It will leave tramline, so when the crops grow, you'll have two nice rows that you can run your fertiliser spreader, spray or whatever it is you're going to be using down through those rows if you want to. Again, you don't have to have it on there if you don't want to. And then you've got openers. We've got wide for cereal or narrow for canola. And this one, six row, sorry, six row, eight row. There we go. Are your options. So what we'll do... Let's jump in. It doesn't really matter, does it? Now, what I will say is unfolding of this takes a bit of time. This one, is this one I've already lowered? I'm trying to think. So, yeah, if I fold cultivators now, you see all the coulters underneath. It raises those, realistically, one at a time. Up they go. So it, it takes a bit of time to fold and unfold, I'm not going to lie. Let's unfold that back down again. Now it does also give us the option to, it says allow crate fields. So you can use it as a plough as well, really. So if I set this off now, once it's unfolded. See what it's doing that, I'll show you. Uncover, or open cover. Really nice animation on that. Have you gone for the beacon option? The beacon on the back. So, I set it up. Drops it down. Brilliant sound effect too. Not a bad speed either. So we are cultivating and fertilising at the same time. Then what we can do is hook up on the back. Our seed option. If you want to do your seed at the same time, like I say, you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Hook that up. I've got it on wheat, it doesn't matter what I've got it on, but it's on wheat. And what should happen if I decide to. Now, I've got the option on here to. We've got ridge markers, if you've got the ridge marker on. No, that opens the cover. Ridge marker. Ridge marker left, ridge marker right, or off. If I go to this one here, is this one? Right, there we go. So L1, R1. If I lower that down, that should give me my tram lines. So every so many rows, you can lower that and do your tram lines if you want to. Let's drop that down. Hopefully it will leave them behind. There you go, see them there? So you can just about see them. So we are cultivating, fertilising and seeding all at the same time. If we go back and have a look, we should be able to see. See those scuff lines there? That's where the seed hasn't gone down. So that's left the tram lines for whatever you're going to go along with next, if you want to. Like I say, you don't have to use those. No, not a lot. I say not a lot of people do. People do use them. Of course they do. If they want to be a bit more immersive. So when your crops grow, you will have two lines left for your tram lines. So that's that one. And then the slightly wider version. Again, we can run it separately as just the... Uh, Cultivator, if we want. What I am going to do, because I haven't tried it yet, where it says allow crate field. If I press triangle now, and drop this down. There we go. So we are creating a field and cultivating at the same time. So if you want to extend your fields, expand your fields, or start new fields, you absolutely can. I 
I didn't have it turned on, so it was just cultivating. I wasn't putting any fertilizer down. Let's hook up to that. Let's put let's put some canola down. Haven't got the uh, tram line one on this. It sounds brilliant. As with most seed modding stuff, if not all seed modding and JHHG JHHG modding stuff, the level of detail the attention to detail, the sound, everything, absolutely spot on, absolutely spot on. So we go. That's the Chaskowski Strip Tilt Cedar 2022 by Seed Modding and JHHG Modding. Moving on to these. This is the FarmTech EDK500 and TDK900. It's by BGamer003 and Sebulchek, I think it is. 7.51 megabytes download, five slots each. We've got a slightly smaller one, single axle, and a slightly large one, double axle. I think this goes up to a maximum of 7,500 litres. This one goes up to a 12. But they do have a few very different options. As you can see, they have trailer hitches, so you can daisy chain together if you want to. They're not swivel axles, they are solid, straight through axles, which are uh, axles, um, chassis, which I do, I do quite like that. We'll have a look at them and we'll have a look at the options. We do have tip side, I want to say rear grain door, left and right on those. Under trailers, the EDK 500, 7,500 to buy. Slot count for, comes down from five to one. We can have a barrel trailer configuration, 2,500 litre, 5,000 litre, 7,500 litre with mesh at the front, 7,500 closed in at the front, 7,500 with wood at the top, 5,000 litre in that capacity, 4,500 in that capacity, 7,500 with double wood sections, or back to bell trailer. We've got Trelleborg, BKT, Lizard, Michelin, back again, Trelleborg, BKT just that, Lizard just that, Michelin just that. Main colour, couple of reds and a black for the chassis, design colour. We've got two different greens and then license plate option on there. So 7,500 litre, the maximum. Then this one, the TDK 900, 13 grand slot count will also come down to one. Again, with this one, bale trailer, but then we start with a 5,000 litre, 9,000 litre, 12,000 litre with mesh, then closed in 12,000 litre, 12,000 litre with wood at the top, 9,000 litre, 8,000 litre, 12,000 litre with two wooden components. And then back to bell trailer. Same options for our tyres. Same option for our main colour and our design colour. And licence plate option on there too. So, I'm pretty sure. I'm on the rear one. Tip side, right, back, crane door, left. Yeah, so if we go right, because of this side. Nice animation. On the unload, on the side tip. The one at the front. Is exactly the same depending on which configuration you go for, but nice smooth animation. Not bad speed on that as well. Tip side back. Tip side grain door. Very nice. The FarmTech EDK500 and TDK900 are by BGamer003 and Sebulchek. Next, we have got, where are they? We've got these. This is the JCB Forest Pack by HR Forst and und Fahrzeugbau. 29.34 megabytes download, 22 slots and 21 slots. Now, what I will say, yes, they do come with the cranes and stuff, and they are forestry, but they have a front three-point link and they have a rear three-point link. These have much better better horsepower than the standard version so if you want a jcb with a bit more oomph to it these might not be a bad choice actually i, I do quite like these now you won't find them under tractors you'll find them under vehicles but under forestry machines so the fast track four well four thousand series the 4220 skidder slot count will come down to one 
options on this we've got 235 horsepower 315 horsepower or 398 horsepower we've got Trelleborg, michelin continental mitas bigotti vlogestein nokian Olas fours about Trelleborg. Trelleborg we've got i do like these tire options michelin continental Mitas, BKT, just that, Vredestein, Nokian, Olas Falls, we've got Progrip F and Progrip U, back to Trelleborg, you've got Fender Back, yes or no, Fender Front, yes or no, we can change the claw colour to anything on that palette, crane colour to anything on that palette, Olas Falls, if you've gone for the Olas Falls, you can change the colour of those if you want to. Main colour, let's go with something that stands out. Red does that section. We've got the Forest Cage colour we can change. Let's put that on yellow. Uh, roof colour we can change. Let's put that on, doesn't really matter, on that. So we can change the roof colour. Hood colour we can change as well. Actually should have put that something else. There we go. Rim colour, quite a few different options, and license plate option too. So we can mix and match the whole lot on that if we wish. Then the 8330 skidder, 348 horsepower, 474 horsepower, or 585 horsepower are our options on that. We've got under we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian, Continental, Mitis, Piketty, Vredestein, Olas Falls, back to Trelleborg. Michelin, that I love. Nokian, Continental, just those. Midas, just those. BKT, just those. Vredestein, just those. Olasfors, Progrip F and U. Back to Trelleborg. Same thing with this. Front fender, yes or no. Back fender, yes or no. Claw colour, same thing. Crane colour. Olasfors, if you've got them. Main colour, exactly the same as the previous version. Main colour, forest cage colour. The cage is a little bit different on this one. As you can see, hasn't got the bars that come down the front. Um, then we've got roof colour, hood colour, rim colour and licence plate too. So let's jump in and start this up. It does look really cool. Lights, beacon... So as far as control groups go, at the moment we're on control group crane, which gives us the option for up and down, left and right, that up and down, that in and out. Now as it stands at the moment, I can only open that, that way, because one of the options up the top there is crab lock on or off. If I turn the crab lock off, I can then rotate that crane as well as open and close it. If you want to lock that in place, turn your crab lock off, and then it won't rotate, it will just open and close. If you want, of course. Uh, we have got steering, all wheel steer, front wheel steer, crab steer left, crab steer right. And if we change from control group crane to control group doors, L1 and right stick side side does that door, R1 and right stick side side does the other door. Uh, L options for camera we've got outside inside crane that side crane that side so if i switch back to that again it's actually not bad that all back to standard interior nicely detailed but like i say with a bit of extra horsepower on it and it's still got your front and, th and rear three point links why not? Give it a whirl. And then the larger of the two. This doesn't have any options for changing steering, but we have got the crab lock on and off as well on this one. So if we go at the moment, we can just open and close it. Same thing, crab lock on and off. We can then rotate it and open and close it if we want to. We've got our up and down on that up and down on that side to side 
in and out on there. And you've also seen the other bits. Now this won't go that way. So I can only go that way around to the rear. It won't let me go this way. It hits a, like a bump stop there. It won't let me go any further. But that's where you've got to be careful because when you're extended a long way out, because this doesn't have legs, you can see how much that's rocking and moving around. If you're lifting logs and stuff, just I would say just be careful. Because you can see, look at that ling. Whoa! That's pretty serious actually. <laughs> so maybe this one better used with crane in front or crane behind, not out to the sides, maybe. We do have the option to change from crane two doors as well and same option for door left door right lighting beacons interior camera angles we've only got actually on this one we've got interior camera angle that side of the grain but not the other side unlike the uh, the 4000 series but again this one's got quite a bit of horsepower to it lovely the JCB Forest Pack by HR Forst and Fazoigbau. Next, I'm going to finish with those because I think they're brilliant. Um, or it's they. Uh, we've got the John Deere 6030 Premium Series by DB Modding. This is 30.885 megabytes download and 22 slots on console. This one you will find under small tractors. Just there. 70,000 for the base model. We've got 40 km per hour and 50 km per hour on each of the engine sizes. We've got 100 horsepower, both speeds. We've got 110 horsepower, both speeds. 120, both speeds. 135, and then back to 100. So 135 horsepower being the highest one in a 40 or 50 km per hour if you want. We've got Trelleborg, Mitus, Michelin, Knockin, Continental, Vlodestein back again under Trelleborg. We've got... Mitus, Michelin, Knockin, Just Communal, Communal, Continental, Fredestein, Back to Trelleborg, Design Standard, we've got left beacon, right beacon, both beacons, extra lights, yes or no. Down at the front we've got weights, we go through different weight options. Then we've got three point link front hydraulic with PTO or off. Starfire receiver, yes or no on the front. Front of the attacher, we've got quick and then with the front protection. Hower with front protection, then lizard with front protection. Front fender, yes or no. Licence plate, yes or no. So, let's hop in and start it up. Still track to this. Lights. If you're going for the extra lights, got them down there in the middle of the cab, and then there's some extra ones around the back. L1, R1, right stick side to side, does that door. Right stick up and down, does that door. And then left stick side to side, does the rear window. Interior. I do like the sound of that. So there we go. That's the John Deere 6030 Premium Series by DB Modding, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. There is a map out today. It is a Farmville Valley by Gwendal. I will probably not going to that till tomorrow morning now but i will try my best um so yeah that's out too so what we have got here is the jcb backhoe loader by kenny 456 18 and 21 slots we've got a version that comes with buckets already attached or a version that doesn't have buckets attached you can buy the bucket separately but it will also accept any front loader tool now bearing in mind there's various different csz pack attachments and stuff as well so you can probably get away with all sorts of stuff on this as well but I think it looks great as well it really does look absolutely brilliant and the fact there is the option for front loader gear as well it, it's not just a one-trick pony i know people 
on console especially want to have something like this backhoes and diggers and excavators so we can actually dig the ground unfortunately we can't but we can use it for picking up other things scooping things and that kind of stuff but you can simulate it you can dig a hole you can fill the old hole with oats barley something that can represent earth and then you can simulate digging it out you know i know it's not quite what what people are after but it will still do the job um so you'll find the vehicle under miscellaneous so the backhoe loader 165,000. that's the one that doesn't come with any attachments slot count will come down to one we've got knocking trailer borg michelin under knocking just that under trailer borg just that under michelin actually yeah just that then we've got main color anything on that palette room color anything on that palette license plate yes or no and if you have the back co loader and buckets that comes with the bucket already on so i think it's a 2500 liter at the front and also it's a 50 on the rear we'll double check that um front bucket openable or standard if you have it standard it works like a regular bucket openable you can open the front section i'll show you in a moment i think i've got one on openable and we've got wheel brand same thing knock in trelleborg michelin then levelers activate or deactivate now i think that's if you're leveling like silage clamps and stuff like that if you have it active you can use it as a leveler it'll work uh, main color same thing anything on that palette room color it's already on that brilliant and license plate two and then if we come out of there and we go to tools and miscellaneous that's where you'll find these two. So 2,500. Oh, 1,800. Why well, do I think it was 50 litres? That's weird. Oh, my, that's the fuel tank in it. <laughs> Genius. Um, take all those crop types, both of them will. Same thing, openable or leveler active. And same with the back one, you can have the leveler active or deactivated. And then it will, like I say, accept any other front loaded tool on there as well. So let's start it up. So if you've got the bucket openable, it'll do that. So you can unload like that, or you can unload normally. Lights, beacon, and hole. But what's very cool, if you want to go into backhoe mode, unfold backhoe. We can change driving direction. It is, it is very cool. Interior, or that view. Again, this one doesn't have one on the other side of the bucket, but for doing work with this, Again, I'm sure people will think of uh, so many different ways of using these in a storyline, in a let's play. There are plenty of cones and road work things, and you could simulate all sorts of really cool stuff. Have this working with an excavator arrive, and uh, you know, I'm already in my head thinking, oh, actually, you know, I wonder. Um, if we go to control group front, actually, let's uh, fold the back co loader, change driving direction. Interior. And the fact it goes at 39 miles an hour as well. Absolutely fantastic. Whoa! But don't turn at 39 miles an hour. That would be stupid. <laughs> and then the version that didn't have the buckets on. I have put the rear one on. I don't know if any other buckets from any other sets will work on this i haven't tried them and there are a few different ones but with the front loader on this one i've just got a log grab but anything you want to use bale spikes bale forks there are so many packs again CSS csf pack always springs to mind but there are so many different packs with front loader tools so you can utilize it in all sorts of other modes as well Very cool indeed. The JCB Backhoe Loader by Kenny 
0.4456. That's it for the mods for today, Tuesday 21st of March. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.